It's a classic case of mistaken identity when an unnamed stranger walks into an unknown town and gets swept literally up in an adventure of music and lunacy. After he's given a map, a knapsack, and some water, he's told by the sheriff to he has a 10 minute head start and to run like hell. And that is the beginning of A Tale of Sand. A Tale of Sand is based off of an unused movie script written by Jim Henson and Jerry Jewell. The graphic novel was adapted by Ramon K. Perez. The art in the graphic novel is actually intriguing because at times the script, the printed script, is incorporated into the backgrounds. Another interesting thing about the layout is the art panels come across as storyboards but fully realized. They seem to flow from one into another. Here's an example. There's a scene at a saloon and for about five pages there's no dialogue. But we see musicians playing their instruments and, you, and the story follows each musical note. And as the musical notes circle the pages we see people dancing, a monkey playing with a cymbal, a dead pig, and the main character is carried away literally by all the emotions. A Tale of Sand's concept is simple and unoriginal, but its execution is what makes it an interesting read. An unknown stranger walks into town, is mistaken for someone else, and like I said at the beginning, is given a knapsack and a map and a 10 minute head start and told to run like hell. Okay, this next part's going to have some spoilers. Within just a few pages, the main character is shot at. He has to go across a whole bunch of bear traps. He's attacked by a lion that comes out of a limousine. And he runs into a big game hunter and some African tribesmen. Oh yeah, and while this is happening, he has to try not get killed by a uh, black suited man hitman wearing a black eye patch. I think the reason why the script was uh, never saw the light of day was because of the whole nonsensicalness of it all. There's really no plot. The character barely speaks. You, situation, ridiculous situations appear out of nowhere. He keeps running to one situation after another. Then they just end and disappear and it's never explained whatsoever. It's basically a one big lip alligator moment after another and if you don't know what big lip alligator moments are check out the uh, Nostalgia Critic. The story has an abruptness and logic of a dream. Perhaps that's what this graphic novel really is. A depiction of someone's dream. Just a very lucid and haphazard one. If I were to say that the storytelling flow was like Looney Tunes, that could be seen as a, um, a slap in the face, but not in this case. That would actually be an apt description and actually a compliment. And despite all the craziness that happens in this graphic novel, it ends exactly how it began. Also, another interesting thing, um, looking at the end, how it ended, it's quite possible that this has happened before and it's going to happen again and again and again to the main character. I really like the art style on this. It, gi it gives a 1940s and 50s feel. Um, like I said, it, 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 it kind of reminds me of those Mary Melody's um, Warren Brothers cartoon art style. The art style is slightly cartoony, but there's a sense of realism to it. It, it gives off a, a classic feel, something like a Darwin Cook. While this was a really fun read and highly creative and had fun art, I do have to admit that there's no character development whatsoever. And like I said, there's no really no plot. The character has a goal, but that's not really what you would call a plot. Despite that, I give this book a recommend. A story that rewards you for reading it can't be bad. It does make me wonder what would happen if this were, were adapted into a movie. The amount of joy I received from this made me wonder, are there any other scripts that happen to be lying around? 
that Jim Henson wrote or co-wrote. In the afterward, his daughter, Lisa Henson, said, was a buried treasure that was unearthed. So I guess we may never know. Until next time, goodbye.